All right, so I didn't film pulling it out because it was kind of a two-man job, but we got it out of there. We got all those ring bolts out and then the um, flange bolts out, and now we're just pulling her up. Gonna set her in the back of the truck. That's what it looks like. So we're back on the Cat 933 steering clutch assembly. Um, I started to take it apart, but then I didn't film it. But the only thing you missed was uh, there's this large uh, nut. I think it's a uh, uh, C2 and 5. It's supposed to be, it's a metric. A 2 and 9 16s will fit if you, <laughs> if you hammer it on there. And then uh, you've got this little nut retainer that sits here. These two bolts that go in here. So you pull these two nuts, these bolts out. You pull that retainer off. And that nut will still be on there. You can tell where that nut was. <clears throat> so now all I got to do is I got to put this in the press. And I got to press this stub shaft out to get this whole assembly out. So we'll set. All right, so I took that uh, 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 release arm or uh, throw up bearing arm off. <clears throat> now I need to take these keepers out. So they make a special tool for these. It's got a, a plate and uh, it's got eight holes in it. And it's got two holes for the uh, bolts to go through it. So you, you can do all eight of these at once, but the plate's a couple hundred dollars and I don't have one. So I took a piece of one inch pipe, um, just cut a little edge off of it like that with a bandsaw. You could do that with an angle grinder or hacksaw or anything, but stick it in here like this make sure we're actually lined up here I need to move it just a hair okay I'm gonna turn the light on. All right, there you go. So now that keeper is out. So just stick a uh, magnet in there. So we need to come down just a little farther. There we go. So that one's out. Just make sure you don't stick your finger in there. Just stick a pick or a stick a uh, magnet in there. And the second one's out. So now, release the pressure. And that's it. Now our spring's loose. I have to, um, they're going to be in there, um, kind of like stuck on the bottom. So I'll go ahead and get the camera set up so I can kind of do a quick, <clears throat> quick run through, but I'll take the rest of the uh, other seven off. <clears throat> so I ran ran into a little issue with this last one here whenever you get the last one down it pushes this whole assembly down which this hole comes down so I got this between this uh, throw out bearing here and this flange to take up the uh, slag so that way it won't yeah there we go put y'all back in the cradle here There we go. They're all out. <clears throat> I'll move this over to the bench and we'll disassemble all these uh, uh, clutch plates. And then uh, get back on the press. I need to replace this bearing. 
All right, so I just pressed this guy out. Um, stuck it on a press, and it took a lot of force to get that dude out. I don't know. Uh, I think they said it's on there like 20 tons of pressure or something. But so what we're left with. So we got a little bent ear right there from something. So we'll flip this guy over. Those are all the little spacers from the bottom of the uh, springs. Make sure you don't lose those. All right, so you gotta take uh, this ring off. And you need a custom bent tool like that, you know, cause uh, when they're bent like that, that makes them perform much better. So there's two set screws. It's one. And two. So I'll get a chisel and a, or a brass punch. Start taking that dude off. So can't find my brass punch, so just found a chisel. Tapper, tapper. It's not on there real tight. And all you do to get this off is pull that. I'll put these in a the parts washer, wash them up a little bit. Um, so these are all of our clutch plates that we got to replace. Like I said, what happened on this, you see all this oil on everything. This is how come these uh, clutch plates on this particular uh, loader, uh, this particular loader went bad because that pinion seal started to leak and all of these dudes got caked at the, that fluid. So they're not supposed to be wet and supposed to be a dry setup. So I will move this out of the way, give myself some room here. Put all those right there. She'll just swim around until she can get out. Well, I thought you said cats, cats can swim. Cats can swim. All right, so those are all my clutch, clutch plates and uh, uh, intermediate plates and actual clutches themselves. So I'm gonna put these all in the pro, uh, this part in the pro, uh, parts washer, this part in the parts washer, that in the parts washer. Get all the oil off everything. But I'm gonna make a video, okay? All right, so I got all my parts clean. Um, I'm gonna take some of this gray SOS pad. It doesn't have to be gray, it can be gray, red, green, whatever. And um, clean this surface off, because this is where the actual clutch material rides. And that old clutch has kind of gotten uh, wore into that. It didn't run wearing bad, but it's just good to kind of cross hatch this stuff so when the new clutch material sits on there, it kind of wears in and finds its own 
on groove. You can also, um, this isn't glazed, it doesn't look glazed. They can develop a glazing on them from slipping too much. So it's kind of good just to rough them up a little bit like that. Do the same thing to this dude. Clean the surface up, throw the oil off of it. And the same thing, just take your SOS pad and scrub it down. I know you were hiding. Hey Dad, why did you did, did you mean like actual candy? I don't have any candy, but why did you say break up? I just messing with you. And here's our new caterpillar clutches. Uh, any of y'all need the information the uh, there's a part number it's 5k8616 discs and for the actual clutch itself the 6y7914 okay so it looks like I've got one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine discs and four clutches, which is not the correct deal. <coughs> I have no idea why they gave me that. We need to count how many clutch discs. I think there's six. So we need one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we should have ten discs or ten clutches. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine discs. So we're missing five clutches. Five there. discs we don't have enough clutches well that's pretty typical for a parts run uh, the bane of my existence is having to go back and forth to the parts department a thousand freaking times because uh, I didn't get the parts um, this particular time the customer went and picked these parts up and um, you know he just picked them up he didn't actually go through them and count them or anything I've, I've gotten to the point now where I'll go through them and count them all make sure they're all there even then sometimes you get them out of the box and they're the on ones. But anyway, I'm going to go check the receipt, see if he build out four of these, or if they're build nine. If they're build nine, I'm going to call him and I'll go get some more. All right, so uh, no, they didn't uh, uh, give me the wrong parts or not give me enough parts, but the problem is I didn't open the box. There's two in each box. <clears throat> so I've got all the uh, clutch plates over there. I've got the discs here. Now what I'm going to do is ship these uh, discs with some kind of coating on them. If you can make it out on the video or not. Yeah, you can see it. See all that junk on there? You don't want that getting rubbed off on your brand new clutch discs, so take some acetone. Wipe them all down, acetone or brake clean, uh, whichever, doesn't matter. 
uh, it's cheaper to buy a gallon of acetone than it is a bunch of brake clean. But this isn't actually acetone, this is alcohol. Where's my acetone at? Let me find my acetone. Acetone! 